it's uh, Saturday, September 11th, 2021. I'm doing a three night uh, little canoe trip up in the Halliburton Highlands Water Trails, exploring a part of the park which I haven't explored before. Um, putting in at Wren Lake, and I'm staying actually on tonight on Raven Lake, and then I have two nights uh, on Gun Lake, I believe. Uh, now, I looked at the, um, the calendar, and it looks like there's uh, it's going to be a busy weekend, actually Saturday. I'm hoping I don't have an issue with parking. Typically, I leave a little earlier, uh, but I couldn't make it out uh, early this morning. But it is, uh, the weather's nice, so there's a lot of people on the roads and a lot of people um, taking this opportunity to uh, get out there uh, before the cold, which I prefer, <laughs> sets in. Um, so, yeah, this should be a nice, uh, nice trip, nice and relaxing. Uh, the colors are starting to change, so I'll um, hopefully get some good video and some good images of the, well, they're actually not changing too much, so it's not going to be that dramatic. But, um, yeah, it should be a good weekend, right? Let's see how to put it. Just put in at the Wren Lake access point, heading up to Raven Lake. It's a nice, uh, beautiful day. It's uh, it's not too warm. It's very comfortable, and I'm hoping uh, it stays that way for the weekend. This is uh, Raven Lake. That's a really, really cool rock wall there. Wow. Just going to enter down this corridor and my site is at the end of the lake. Tour of the campsite. It's on a slope, I mean, which is typical for a lot of the sites in this area. Um, yeah, this was the only, the only little <clears throat> flat spot or one of the flatter spots uh, that I could get my tent. Uh, I didn't set up the hammock today. I thought I'd uh, bring out the tent late in the season, just to, you know, try something different. All right, here's my little pulley system that I rigged up for my food bag at night and here's a little view of the shoreline this is um it's a very private site it's at the end I guess the east end of Raven Lake the northeast rather maybe there are a few cottages um, at the mouth of this, this little passageway and um, I'll go, have to go through there tomorrow to go up to Gun Lake. But yeah, it's a nice little cozy site. Um, probably, you know, it's good for solo, two people. Uh, it might be a little crammed if you get uh, maybe a, one tent and possibly a hammock. You could probably pull it off. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get some firewood, have some steak tonight. And yeah, just relax. So I decided to do uh, my final night in the Kortha Highlands up here in uh, Bottle Lake. So I'll do a little bit of a tour. This site's really nice. It's a last minute site. It's available. 
and I lucked out. Yeah, the plitting is pretty accessible. It's still a swimming area. comes with its own picnic bench. I think this is very common for a lot of the sites up here in the core of the Highlands. There's a nice little tent pad here. I decided to sleep in a hammock tonight. And uh, let's check out some other parts here. It's a good site for, uh, for even a small group. You could have, there's about two or three nice little Tent spots. Here's another one I think that can be used. Nice little sheltered area. The privies up there. Yeah. I'm not sure. Put a tent here, you know, you have to ensure some privacy there. <laughs> <laughs> 